This is sick. Okay, here we go. Place is massive. Okay, so so oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, we have a whole apartment here. Well, wow, they have their own parking garage? Here, what is up explorers? Today we're exploring an abandoned hotel. This hotel has some pretty intense history. First off, this place only closed nine months ago. Closed in 2020 and the reason why it closed is because they owed so much money in taxes, they were backlogged, that the town just closed this place down. But it closed for more reasons besides taxes. They were complaining about mold issues in here. This hotel was not making enough money. It didn't have enough money to do the renovations. It didn't have enough money to keep up and pay their employees. So a lot of this place just was just declining, declining and all the other hotels around it were doing better and the renovations were good and they were uprising. So people were choosing to go to other hotels and avoiding this hotel. One of the craziest things that happened was when the employees came in for work one day on a Friday, they seen a big sign in the door that says this place was closed. And there was a lot of sorry notices and a lot of letters that we'll actually find that shows like, guys, we don't work here no more. This place closed down literally in a day. And everyone that was working here found out the same day that they weren't working and they did not have a job anymore. So the higher ups just kind of kept it a secret until the very end as far as I know. So imagine you're just waking up going to work and you go to work and this place was closed out of nowhere, just ran away. That's what happened. Now one of the craziest things about this is that when they closed this for good only eight or nine months ago, you're gonna notice that this place is actually getting trashed quick in nine months. You're gonna see a lot of black mold, a lot of things that shouldn't be here within that time span. And it's just poorly just developed and poorly just shutting down. So guys, let's explore this place and let's get on with it. Yer. Dang, the mold's bad. I'm gonna have to get my light on. Uh, yeah, I can see it over the door. Hang on. Oh god. Uh, this is actually like the cafeteria where they're cooking everything. Pretty much for all the conference rooms. I only know that because, well, check out all the trays that are here. And then right over here is where one of the conference rooms was. You got the chandelier right there. It's glistering in the dark pitch black mold ceiling. It's really cool. They had a lot of conference rooms and I'm, I can get you into some cool stories after this uh, once we start getting into some light areas. Wow. Molds all over the carpet. We're gonna keep going down, see what's going on. Wow. American flag is still set up. All the cheers are just intact, lined up. It's literally like this place just had to close down and everyone just left. And that's because it actually did. And I can get you into this history in a minute. I just want to get a cool place to show you. Obviously, we're inside a hotel. Um, actual, a fairly big hotel, by the way. Where is everyone? I'm with the whole squad right now. We're all just exploring. It's huge. What are you guys doing over there? Soda. You what? Yeah, uh, on, on uh, soda here. Oh. Uh, uh, no, I don't want any old soda. Hang on. <laughs> Someone has chips. The ghost. Whoa, all flat screen TVs are left here. Dude. It's actually amazing. It's a Berkshire. What? This room's cool. I might have already seen it. I don't know. Did I? Is this the lobby? Where? Oh, this was the restaurant. Well, they even got like the shot glasses at the bar. Yeah. They still got um. Yeah, this was the drinks written on the chalkboard. Yeah, look at that. Dang, a lot of urban explorers have came here. Their tags are on the walls. Yeah. Oh, I was right. Breakfast buffet. Yep. Dude, it's actually insane how intact this place is. Stuff still just sitting inside the containers. There are teas right there. Glass cups still right there. Not moved, not smashed. Now, if you guys are wondering why there's still Christmas ornaments and there's still freaking uh, snowman here, that's because this place closed in December. So it's all still here, which is fr freaking cool and odd. 
And what I like about it is because we know the history and we know it's closed and we're here a year later, nine months later, and we can still see how everything's in place and why it's still here. It's just really cool and it's better for the story and your minds because you know why it happened. I mean, this is really bad for nine months. And I don't even know what's here. There's a lot of things we're gonna just find. <laughs> I don't even know what's in this place. I just know that this place is cool. Well, we're coming up to something big. The crown room, nutmeg room, gardens, the pool. Oh my God. Hang on, I'm getting distracted everywhere. Just a random bike in the middle. This is nuts. It's been a long time since I've actually explored like a hotel resort that's this cool. Just so y'all know. Just a random red bike chilling in the middle of the place, parked. Assuming that this was one of the main ways inside here. You know, you would come in through the lobby, you would check in right here. Paintings are still on the walls. And this is what the hotel has to offer. Dude, that's the bar we were just at a second ago. Look how it looks now. Dude, that pool's here? I wonder if that's above us. 24 hour fitness center. This place literally had it all. Let's go check out more. Especially, I didn't even notice, these are marble floors. Really nice. You got a bunch of orange juice still in the container. I bet you can actually drink that. Maybe not, I don't know. It depends how moisture and if it got into the cans, but they're all brand new. All the soda's still here. Some Snickers, I bet you the rats already ate that though. What's in here? Well, the whole walls are just full of black mold. Keurig machines. I mean, guys, remember, this only closed a year ago. Computers are still set up. I mean, this place filed bankruptcy. Everything's just here. I don't know what's gonna happen. If I don't think anything's gonna happen, I really don't. I love this place. Wow, water's stacked up. I think it's nothing here. I think it just goes to the back. Stepping on just old mold, you can hear. It sounds like you're stepping on brain guts. <laughs> It does sound awful. I'm assuming right here it has to be the pool. Dude, look at this dome. Look at this sky roof view. Woo! This is sick. Hallelujah, guys. This is a banger. Steve, this is a good spot, bro. This is a really good spot. Did not expect this. Dude, it's massive. Even down there, it opens up with the view. Wow. This is a really cool spot. You don't see this every day. I mean, we've been to a ton of abandoned hotels, don't get me wrong, but I really like this one. It's actually really unique. So Steve, you were here before. Yeah. And so like, what's going on? Like from when you came to this, is it a lot different or? Dude, very, very different. When I first came here, I explored with Radic and literally this place was untouched. There was still power. There was no graffiti. There's nothing on the ground like this. It was literally like mint. You know, yeah, mint condition. Wow. And uh, yeah, now it looks like a proper urbex spot. Yeah, now you can tell it looked abandoned. So it didn't look abandoned for you when you were here. I mean, it did, but like in an untouched way. Yeah, okay. It's definitely a different feeling. Like a natural decay more. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know what? All right, so guys. Here's a clip of Steve's video of this room specifically. I'm showing you it right now. You can see what it looked like before, and then now you're gonna see it now. I kind of wish there was water in here. Surprisingly, this room is not really leaking. You would think. I mean, they had a full on tree in here. Now it's like rotting away. Warning, no lifeguard on duty. They had a whirlpool, you know, like a hot tub. Let's go check out the gym after this. Oh, there's a sauna in there too. All right, explorers, before we get any further in this video, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, Storyblocks. You guys probably know that Seth and I is working super hard on the streets. It is five in the morning. We just got done filming another video and we're gonna be editing right now. Yeah. It's, and he's just trying to find his uh, travel adapter. Anyways, you guys know that Seth and I is always working super hard to deliver the best content for you guys. But sometimes we don't always get that particular shot that would make the video so much better. For example, like the shot of the moon rising at night or something. And that is why we use story blocks in almost every video. 
Story blocks help you create better videos even if you aren't able to travel to get the shot you need. I think almost every creator I know has a story blocks membership and I've been using them for years. Assets are royalty free so you can use your download content anywhere for both commercial and personal use. They're constantly adding to their library driven by creator demand and working to make their content more diverse. They have 4K and HD footage, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound effects, and more to give you everything you need to bring your stories to life. They also have flexible subscription plans for every budget. So whether you're just making videos for personal use or you're a company that uses their full enterprise licensing options, they got you covered. They even have an unlimited downloads option. Storyblocks helps you create more and spend less. So go check it out for yourself in the link description down below. It makes me look good when you use my link and you get better videos. So it's a win-win for both of us. All right. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for Storyblocks for sponsoring this video now. Let's get back to the video. Such a cool spot though. The dome thing is just so unique. I would chill here and swim. It's really nice. Christmas setups going on. Someone looked like they had a little Christmas party. Bulbs are all of those four smashed up a bit. Snowman chilling on the table. So as you can tell all along the pool is all like hotel rooms all on the first floor and second floor, and it goes all the way around here too. I've never seen what any of the rooms look like yet because we're having too much fun looking at everything else. I mean, dude, it's a whole freaking jungle right here. <laughs> Let's go over here too. This place was set up so nice. A whole nother side. I think that's just my pool reflection because I'm like, whoa, there's another pool? <laughs> look at it, it's trippy. This area is perfectly intact. Lights are still up. Sailing fans are still there. Oh, for a minute I thought that was a stage back there, but it's not. I'm gonna have to try to get inside the hotel room soon. What is this, a gazebo? Look at this, and in the middle is a satanic, <laughs> satanic star. I guess we should try ghost hunting here, huh? Jeez. Dude, all the chairs are just like lined up in front of it too. I wonder who did that. Speaking of that, look at this co cool dog swimming in the ocean. Honestly guys, when have I let you all down? I've been giving you guys some of the best haunted and a best abandoned places on the planet. The most secret ones that no one has recorded yet. Some that no one even have noticed existed in their own backyards. I have done it all. And we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going to the end. We're seven years deep. We're not stopping. Tell your friends, tell your family, everyone like and subscribe for this channel. But really quick, Huge announcement, I have a second channel now called Just Joshing You. And on the second channel, I do a bunch of different vlogs. You guys have been seeing me do ghost hunts and adventure and traveling videos for the last seven years, but there's another side of me. And there's a lot of other things I would love to do and show. That is why I created the new channel called Just Joshing You. So link in the description down below, you can see a whole new bunch of stuff I'm doing, whether it's challenges, pranks, or whatever crazy wacky idea you wanna give me, comment below on that channel and I'll start doing whatever you guys ask. So check out the new channel guys, thanks so much for the support. We're gonna keep this video rolling, I'm gonna get lost in here, and also check out the merch, because the merch has been doing really well, and we have a lot of cool designs. Well, there's a payphone. No power there, it doesn't work. This must have been the staff's room. Wait, no, I don't think this was staff's room at all. Just another breakfast room. We've already seen one restaurant and now we're seeing another one. This is incredible though, how much stuff is still left here. The company, I don't know what they're gonna do. I really don't. I don't know if they're gonna try to bring this place back or get a grant or a loan or something, but they gotta do something because it's getting destroyed quick and no one's really doing anything about it. That's one of the reasons why we're not revealing this location at all, we don't want no one to come here and destroy it. And hopefully they can fix the place up. I mean, you can, <laughs> we could really get lost. I don't even know where Steve is anymore. And I'm just going my own way. I don't want to go this way. I want to go inside like the hotel rooms and stuff. Hang on, let's get out of here. This might be the biggest Christmas tree bulb I've ever seen. At the time, it looks like you can see that there were even trees growing right here next to their rooms. Now, does this room open though? Oh, no, I don't. We gotta see if we can get inside some of the rooms, what they look like. Here we go. People were partying here. As you can see, a lot of people have been snooping around here. Assuming that all the rooms look the same. My God! Either scrappers came here, or they were trying to do some work. This is disgusting. Eight months and it looks like this? It's insane to me. 
complete black mold right there. Hang on. And in there, at least you can get an idea of some of the rooms and how they look. They really don't look too bad though. But if you go online, you can see like some of the reviews and people are even complaining about the mold issue while they were sleeping here. Bathroom's super old school. This is room 124 now. And this one actually is pretty interesting because they tried to protect it by throwing plastic over all the furniture. I mean, that will help preserve it for sure, for the most part. I wanna try and scare Steve or someone. Soon I'm gonna scare someone. I always scare people when we do abandon. And however it does, I never really scare people because I'm trying to really focus and look for ghosts. But sometimes off camera, I do try to freak people out. I'll like really try to mess with them. Bando picks. Yeah. Oh my guy looks so freaking ugly. Diet starts now, guys. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, a lot of candy. A lot of candy. What is this? Are these light sticks? Yeah, light sticks. A bunch of them. And they're just full of candy. So after going through the whole hallway to find if there was any like different kind of room, I found this room. At 143, it's a lot bigger than the other ones. And it just has one huge king size bed. Because I'm trying to find if there's like any sweets or something. So that's kind of like what I'm looking for. And there might be one upstairs or something. We're going to keep looking. But so far this was the biggest one I've seen. It looks like, like a total chill spot. But what's impressive if, like, is the soap and body wash is still in its exact place from when this place closed. Shows how preserved it is. Whoa, this one's mint though. This room's mint. Hey, look what they got here. It's where they can charge your like iPods and stuff. MP3, can chill right by the bed. There they are. They're over there. I gotta get back in there so I can go inside the fitness center. But I don't know how to get there, I'm kind of lost. And obviously the elevators don't work. I might be able to take these stairs or take a right. I don't know, look at this. I mean, the exit sign's falling from the ceiling. Oh, wow. Doors open for me. Yer! Yeah. What's under me? Hey. I don't think I'm gonna stand on here, actually. No, it's not. It doesn't feel good. I'm leaving. I don't want to fall through a ceiling or break anything. Ugh. This is why I don't die or get hurt. Right, I'm going to find another way. Oh, it goes down over there and over here. Um, I got to get to the fitness center and pool. Probably going to go down this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, my, is that a piano down there? As you can really see, the place is massive. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I now? Like the laundry chute? Behind storage? Here we go. I'm back, boys. I was actually going to go in there. Oh, uh, this is the gym and they sell like the you know, locker rooms. Yeah. No, I like this spot. It's not a bad gym though. You know, you go to some hotel gyms and they're so horrible. They have one treadmill and two weights and that's it. This one at least has like five more things extra and you got TVs, but this one added a weight scale. So it's even better. I don't want to know how much I weigh. Did you go in any of the rooms? Yeah, that's, that's where I was at. I was in all the rooms. I wanted to go in the room. You have to go back down there and then take a right. Steve's getting some cool shots with Radic right now. I want some cool shots, Radic. Make me look cool too. No, he's not. I need shots right now. Now this is an office. Everything's still inside. Maybe you'll find one in here. The brand new raincoat. I know, right? Raincoat. Heavy duty raincoat too. <laughs> I'm looking for the letters where they're saying sorry to their employees and things like that. Steve been here before me and he says they're in another room, so I'm just kind of like snooping around and looking, seeing what we could find here. We did find a lot of like different keys to the place. All these keys are numbered on here and they're all right there. One of them is called the 100 Club. 
That's room 15. Is 15 on here, the key? It is right there, the 100 Club. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Alright, so where are the sorry letters? I'm I can't find sure it. I'm sure the sorry letters were down that way. I mean, I'll just take off by myself then and just risk it. Dude, they're just like in the big building. It's a big building? There's another building? It's that big one. Oh, oh, like literally. Yeah, yeah that one. I think they're on the top floor. I think they're actually in where that, you see that window? Yeah. It should be somewhere there. And there's like an entire office space. Oh, damn. And there's like sorry letters letting go all the employees. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna find. Careful, though. Okay. Yeah, last time we saw like this weird alien creature. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, careful for what? <laughs> Dang. Chains on the bed? Oh my god. I was here. I didn't notice that. Josh, are you no, that sounds really kinky. Where? Where's the chains on the bed? Oh what? Oh. Okay, so so oh my. God. Oh my god. Oh, a padlock saying? attached at the bottom too. So people okay. have been and their this. their jacket was off. Yeah, what the heck went on? It's a girl's jacket too. Okay. I'm connecting Wait, what's the this? dots. Oh, yeah. God. Why? What do you think happened here, Steve? Um You're connecting the dots. What happened? In prison here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Here you go. Swish drink. Dang. So the crown rooms and coach rooms. Don't know where this is gonna bring me. Let's go to crown room one. What the hell? More different areas I've never seen? Dude, they had a lot of different conference rooms. The middle sex room. Dang. This is completely tagged up, but to be honest, I usually don't like graffiti, especially tagged up, but they're not bad. <laughs> they're actually not bad. Like, they actually came out really cool. I like this. At first, I didn't know what it meant when it says, thanks for keeping the art in here. And what they're saying is, because they didn't tag up like the swimming pool, or they didn't tag up other areas, they used like a, a specific room that wasn't gonna like damage like the beauty of the abandoned place. So they did it instead of a private room. So I do respect that a lot too. Especially because that art is pretty dope. Like that's a cool skull. And dude, trust me, there's so many times I'll go to like an abandoned stage or a theater and then boom, right right where you want to take a cool picture, there's just someone's ugly, disgusting art that they don't know how to do is tagged right on it. These guys tag good, they tagged in that room. I respect that. The 100 Club. The 100 Club. This is sick. Oh, we were already in the 100 Club. I was just in here. That's funny because we've seen the keys for it. I'm like, oh, I wonder where the 100 Club was. Yeah, we were just in here already. See, guys, honestly, oh my God. I don't know where I'm going. I am physically and mentally lost. We just found the holy grail of Christmas trees. There's at least five in here. Join us for Easter brunch on April 1st. So after running around sweating, trying to find these like other rooms and these other notices in the other building, I can't find nothing. And then I see a message from everyone and they found like second floor uh, suites. So I'm going to go find them, go back to them for a minute. And maybe I'm going to have them take me. Maybe I lost my touch. Time to get back into exploring hardcore. But it feels really good to be here. Where's those rooms? Wait, what was by me? Uh, the loft room is like somewhere over here. Oh, like that one big one? With the stairs and then there's like an apartment one down there. Wait, I want to see the apartment one then. Alright, it's down this way. That's so cool. I would have missed that. Cause like I did the whole first floor zigzag through, I and didn't see anything, so I didn't know there was. These rooms are in great condition too. Oh yeah, the second floor is way better than the first. Way better. Everything's mint here, dude. No, we have a whole apartment here. There's three beds in this apartment though. This is sick. Which I don't understand. I gotta. We... I guess it's like maybe if people wanted to stay like more long term. <laughs> yeah, they just want to rent it out and just chill. Feet. It's really cool. I love yeah. this. <laughs> Look at this. This is a whole suite set up. This is the best room. The back's kind of weird. They had a brick wall, but that's cool. No, this is really cool. Look, it goes upstairs. Mass it goes upstairs. Is upstairs. Yeah. Too? Yeah, this is just a cool, like, suite. It's a really nice one. I don't understand why this is doing. Like, this is I like love it. Like, no, it's, it's cool. Like Dude, when I go to Florida a lot, before I go to Disney World, I like rent these and just hang out and bring all the friends in. Yeah, this is Heck yeah. I love this. Down here, this is when they put all their clothes and storage. Yeah, we're just talking about right now, Explorers is like, it just keeps going. There's just so many rooms. We're constantly just walking and walking, walking through the shadows and 
It's pretty. It's pretty insane. Water. Water! No, it's already drank. It's yeah. Not, no, maybe not the one outside. The water. The one outside. You might be. Is it fresh? Who's gonna? Fresh water. You're gonna drink it? I'm not gonna drink it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you know me, I don't it. drink water. I live on Red Bulls and, I, I, yeah, I live on Red Bulls and Cola. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve thinks the sorry letters are in the housekeeping office, but how is I supposed to ever know that? Dude, this looks so different than how. Yeah, this is the floor. This is the same floor? This is the same floor. There's no way it got this yeah. floor up. <laughs> yeah, it got. There's no way. Dude, people like. Dude, all, all of this was up, there was clean, there was nothing on this floor, it was completely empty. Nothing. I know, dude. This, wow. this, is so the, this was crazy. Remember when we entered this was the, the hallway we first yeah. went through? And all these doors were closed. Everything was closed up. You couldn't get into a single room. Wow. I, I didn't recognize it. Yeah. I, I I really thought we were in another building that I've never seen before here. Yeah, I'm very shocked. Like, what did did people do this? I don't, I, it has yeah, to be. No way. Because why would why would their no own way. staff no like break everything and yeah, rip yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. What happened? This is cool because it shows them like in their meeting and then on that wall there's like pictures of what the hotel looked like when it was open. Where? Right here. Oh yeah, of course. Like how to like make the beds and stuff. Oh no, this wasn't this. This was just examples. Oh. This ain't the, the actual hotel used. Oh, well on this door it's, it's a letter about the hotel closing. Yep, on J yeah, this is it. This is it. The hotel is closing operations until major renovations are complete. Therefore, this letter is to notify you that you are being laid off. Although we anticipate this is a temporary closure, we are unable to determine that at this time. Oh my god. That's crazy because they're saying they're going to do major renovations, but this place owed over 200000 in taxes and they weren't even coming back. So that's crazy they even said that because it's already been pretty much... What, six, seven months since this, and this place got destroyed and no one's fixing it. Ain't that, dude, that's actually an insane story. How did this get that destroyed in less than a year? People came in here and just trashed it. That's insane, because this is what I know. Nothing. That's crazy to me, though. Like, now we have our answer to how some abandoned buildings get this one up. Yeah, that's why people keep the buildings a secret as much as they can. Dude, it's closing the back of here. Let's go see what's over here. There's like the janitors and. You know, housekeeping rooms. The like person still has their... This guy was named Edward. And he had a pen still in his pocket. Wow, man, this room smells bad. All the plants are dead on the window. Radic, do you think this hotel is coming back to life? Absolutely not. It's not happening. What about you? Hell yeah, I'm gonna fix this place up. I'm gonna buy it, <laughs> renovate this place, clean yeah, it all up. all your money, man. Are you gonna bring the workers back here? Yeah, I'm gonna hire Radic first thing on the job. See, you're gonna lose all your money. <laughs> got it, got it. Oh, okay. oh, you can't really ride. Do you know how to put a chain back on a bike? <laughs> this is the last part of the video, guys. We're gonna head to the roof right now. See how it looks. This is gonna be the, the, um, the Explorer's Hideout. Explorer's Hideout Part Two, Malta series. Yo, could you grab this for me? Oh, can I lift it? I don't know. Is it heavy? Oh, dude, I can't even lift it. There's too much bags on. I'm kidding. It's yeah, great. right. <laughs> dude, we're in like a random close spot. Nice set. Yeah, you go through the window and it's just like this, you know, closed off like courtyard thing. Oh yeah, yeah, New York City, it's yeah. Really, it's really just like this. <laughs> oh my god. The finishing touch to end today's video. The oh roof. God. This is getting scary. <laughs> I think there is a storm coming actually, but I don't really know for sure. Oh I'm almost there. You guys ever vlog while ladder climbing? Oh, the dome, dude! I know, this is the best part. You climb the dome. That's really cool. You gonna risk it for the biscuit? Maybe. I don't like ladders at all. Now you just gotta jump over. Nice. nice. Good. Let's go see what Steve's doing now. He's been snooping Yo, by down yeah, there. Check him out. He, he thought he could ride my bike. 
Yeah. Where'd you go? Right down there. Where's Yo, this looks sick. Uh, <laughs> honestly, let's just look at this dome real quick from a distance. This is really cool. I love this hotel. I really like this abandoned hotel a lot. Look at it. It looks it looks so cool. If you look just right here with the dome and just see the tree, you think it's like like a huge like garden. Yeah, it literally looks like a botanical garden from here if you wouldn't know what it was. Like a high-tech one. So the ladder here actually spins like around the dome. Almost like, like the spinning ladder for the library when you go into a different bookshelf to the next bookshelf. Similar to that, but it's really cool. I'm assuming that's how like they clean the dome or do whatever, but really cool place. Honestly, what makes this whole place great for this hotel and this location is the dome, the way the architecture is, and the pool. Because other than that, I mean, there's nothing crazy special. The main lobby's pretty cool. Uh, they had everything inside. So, I mean, it's a solid five out of five abandoned hotel for sure. Ow. And your camera attached to it, and you can literally just climb ladders with your camera like this, and you'll be safe. That's pretty amateur, bro. Ah, oh, bro. That's an amateur move. Bro, you wish you found this out. I have no choice. You kind of don't. Oh, Just get down. No, really don't. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm scared. Alright. I don't like ladders. I have oh. Like, oh. Yeah, I, have I mean, it's a short ladder at least. It is a short ladder. It's like... Oh ladder. god, I don't... <laughs> I'm only recording in case you fall. I'll make it to the video then. She falls in the video. Oh nice. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Nah, it's really not. It's just the first... Yeah. All right, guys, we pretty much explored this place high and low from light to dark. As you can see, I had to turn the light on to get this ending. We're all packed up. We're heading out of here. Again, I really love this place. Like I said, the dome, the architecture is what made this place. The history, the, the sign still uh, preserved on the door saying everyone had to leave. Everyone's getting laid off. It's what made this place what it is. Really good explore, like I said. I don't know what the next video is going to be. I don't know what the next adventure is. It's really crazy. It's always random. I might get a call to go to Egypt the next week. I don't know. It's, it's that random. So guys, tune into next week's video. I never miss a video. Check out the merch, riseabove.shop if you want to support. And also check out the second channel if you want to see videos of me that's not abandoned or adventuring at Just Josh and You, which is in the link in the description down below. Peace out and thanks for watching and tune into next time. Boom.